As Thailand seems more to appreciate its renowned social history, certain great buildings are being restored, and a fine example is this former home of a Lana princess in Chiang Mai. This gracious residence in a quiet part of Chiang Mai is a lasting link with an important part of Thai history. It was the palace in retirement of a young woman of the Lana royal family whose marriage cemented the ties between the northern and central Siamese kingdoms. These days, the links between Chiang Mai and Bangkok are clear and fast, but in the 1880s, to travel from Chiang Mai to Bangkok involved an elephant trek of several days. Nevertheless, at that time, a princess, Princess Dara Ratsumi, and her father of the Lana Kingdom traveled to Bangkok and were received by King Jula Longkorn. In time, the beautiful young woman was invited to become a consort of His Majesty King Jula Longkorn, and indeed bore him a child. Ever since, that union in marriage has been seen as a permanent bonding of the kingdoms to the greater power of the country we call Thailand. The garden setting and the lifelike presence of the princess create an appropriate atmosphere of reverence and a steady stream of visitors admires her renowned beauty and makes merit to the memory of the princess. While seeking more of her romantic life story, in the splendidly renovated rooms of the Timber Palace. She, she lived from Chiang Mai when, when she only 13 years old. She followed her father. Her father is king of Chiang Mai, number seven, and go to Bangkok and give her to marry with King Chuarungkorn when she only 13 years old. Yeah. And she lived there for a long time? She? Yeah. She lived in Bangkok until King Chuangkorn passed away. The name of the princess, Dara Ratsume, is clearly the inspiration for the star motif that is found throughout Dara Star. And her love of roses, especially a variety with a huge bloom, is another attractive way in which the rooms still echo her years of living here in the 1920s. Conservators have cleverly drawn on a wealth of early reports and photographs to refurnish the rooms correctly for the period and with the known possessions and furniture of the royal consort where possible. The mansion is raised off the ground and opens on to verandas. The interior reflects the royal status of the occupant and retains her taste in the furnishings of the 1920s. So this very nice big room was her bedroom? Yes, this is her bedroom. Is this really the original bed? This was her bed? Yes, original her bed. And made from the Burma style. This is Burma style? Yes, it? made from a teak wood. Oh, I see. It seems that all of the rooms in this very lovely building are quite large, aren't they? Large and very airy too. A lot of windows. And what do we have here? This is our parade welcome ceremony of King Rama VII. Oh, I see. When, when King Rama VII yeah. visited the north? Yes. The visited first the king to do first so? First king. Yeah. First king. They made a wonderful procession for him. Yes. And followed, this parade is followed by 80 elephants. 80 elephants yes. came next? Very long parade. It was the princess who arranged the reception and entertainment of King Prajaripok and Queen Rambai. Their visit to Chiang Mai in 1926 made possible by the building of the rail link from Bangkok. The royal visit was the first by a Siamese king and queen to the northern city and was a huge success. The dress fashions of the northern and central societies are also showcased as worn by the northern princess at the royal court in Bangkok and in the traditional pattern that she returned to when back in Chiang Mai. 
Weaving of fabrics was an important artistic pursuit at this country estate in the Lanar North. It's fortunate that the royal mansion was purchased by the Tullalongkorn University, which has carried out the superb renovation and secured the place of Princess Dara Ratsumi in the hearts and history of the people of Northern Thailand. To view more of my videos or to contact me about perhaps participating in your projects, please visit rodmcneil.tv.